and then position it. Now, this looks really clean in terms of the edges if I just kind of move it around so I can see that colored bowl in the background. And that looks good. Now, obviously, I haven't uh, set up my bowl so that it's ready to receive the bananas. So I'm going to make that my next, next stop. Um, and again here, the bowl is a background layer. Click here to remove that little lock. I'm going to drag it above the bananas because what I want to do is the bananas need to be behind the front of the bowl but in front of the back of the bowl. So I want to separate that back from the front. I also could get rid of that white background um, because uh, if we, you remember the end image that I gave you, that has no, no white background, it's a gradient. Now what might cause a few problems here, I'm just going to zoom in, are these highlights uh, around the edge of the bowl. And that's because they're very close in terms of tone and color to the white background. This edge on the rim is also going to cause a, a problem. It means I can't select based on color because this is the same color as the part I want to, want to remove. In this case, rather than use uh, one of the selection tools that are based on color, or use uh, the magnetic lasso tool, which follows a line of contrast, which is partly based on color, partly based on contrast. Here, it would be actually better to start with the elliptical marquee tool. Now, if you remember, the elliptical marquee tool allows you to just kind of drag and draw a shape. Uh, and it's going to be vaguely circular. If you hold down the shift key, it will keep it precisely circular and it draws from the left and you drag right. So here you're going to have to kind of keep on readjusting this as you drag and draw. So by holding down the space bar it allows me to change the start position for my selection outline. And here you want to get it kind of as close as possible to that edge. Um, it can kind of overlap the back. The back's not really important. We can select that in a slightly different way, but get it as close to that edge at some point as you can. Now, obviously, this isn't perfect. Um, I could go in and redraw it. I, I could add to it as well because this white part is also going to have to kind of go, or not necessarily the white part, but this part along the upper edge needs to can be part of the selection too. So in this case I can kind of roughly add to that top part of the selection. I'm just going to use the rectangular marquee because I, I don't have to be precise and this will be relatively easy. So click on the second option to add to a selection and I'm just going to drag and again this is super rough. What's the part that has to be precise is this front of the bowl. Actually, I don't need quite this much, so I could also subtract from the selection just to make it easier to work with. Now, I also want to transform the selection because it's not quite as exact on that front lip as I want it to be. So I would go Select, Transform Selection. Unlike the Transform tool under Edit, the Transform Selection tool doesn't change the pixel information, it changes the selection outline. So select that and then um, you ha also have to start by immediately by adjusting it. So I would right click and select free transform or actually let's uh, select either skew or distort. Either one of those will actually work because these allow you to kind of uh, just drag and change the nature of that outline by just kind of going in and grabbing those corner points. So I'm not sure how perfect this is, but it looks a little bit better. So when you have it how you want it, hit return. It looks a little rough in places, but let's just try it. So I'm going to uh, copy this, paste it, select, reselect, and go back to layer zero. Actually, let me rename this bowl. Um, and this is bowl front. 
it's a good habit to get into naming your layers uh, in a way that really describes what they are. In Photoshop, you have that nice little handy icon which shows you what's on a, an individual layer, but sometimes you might be moving it into another program such as After Effects or Premiere where you can't necessarily see what each layer is. And in that case, layer one, layer two, and layer zero, they don't really help you find the layer that you want. And this is bowl inside. Okay, so uh, here, let's just have a look. This is the inside of the bowl, looks pretty good. And this is, oh, and I haven't removed the inside from here, so I'm just gonna hit uh, the backspace. And that looks pretty smooth. So here I would drag the bowl inside beneath the bananas. I wanna get rid of that white. In this case, I could probably just go in and make sure for some on the, the bowl layer. Probably just use the magic eraser tool and that looks pretty good. So I have my, oh, and I also have to do that on the bowl inside. Here I can see there's a maybe a little area where I shifted the selection outline a little bit. So it might be something where I need to kind of shift it down a little bit more to kind of compensate. So in this case, I just switch to the move tool and I use the arrow keys so the up and down arrow keys, they're just moving it one pixel at a time and it keeps it nice and, and connected. So I guess maybe I should have been a little bit more careful when I was selecting that back, but let's see if we can do this with a color selection. We go to the magic wand. Let's see, four is pretty slight, uh, not quite tight enough. Let's try 12, uh, command D. That looks a lot better. I'm going to just delete that and Command-D to get rid of the selection outline. 